Remember the 90s when every punk and pop song seemed to have this cool delay effect on the last word or a single phrase of a song? Well, in this GarageBand for iOS quick tip, I'm gonna show you how we can do this here in GarageBand on the iPad or the iPhone. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete, this is Studio Live today where I help you create, record and release your best music. And if like me, you love the 90s and are nostalgic for a bit of that sound and want to use it perhaps not in every song, but every occasional song, then this is the video for you. What I'm going to show you is how we can use the duplicate method to create an effect effect on just a part of a track and this is super handy not only for using for this delay effect but you can use it for any time that you want to automate because as we've talked about automation here in GarageBand iOS is only for volume if we want to add a vocal to just one part of a track we need to use this duplicate method so let's dive in now and I'll show you how we do this on this track. So this is my song called In Time, and this particular part of this verse, we have this little section here where you can see I've duplicated out a piece of this audio, and I've popped it on here, and then added some additional effects. On the moment, uh, it sounds like this. For you it must be even worse. Generation than I built. So you can hear that you've got the original vocal audio here, and then you've got this delay audio. Let's play just those together. Generations and I feel bad. So our original vocal is here just doing the generations, which is part of the normal vocal, and then this one, which is my vocal generations track, is just doing this. Generations. generations. And you can hear we've got some epic delay, we've got some distortion on there, so that when you bring them together, Generations and I feel bad. You get a volume boost, but you also get that cool echo effect. And of course, if we wanted to, we could delete out this part and play just this one. Generations, then I feel bad. And then I'd have to dial the volume up, but the way I liked it was having the two there. So you can choose and pick and choose the way you want to do it. But let's show you now how we do this. What I'll do is I'll reset this track and then I'll recreate this little uh, echo part and I'll show you how we do that. Okay, so here we are with our full track, our full vocal here. So we'll dive into the spot that we need to adjust here at bar 38. And I'll just make sure this is the right spot. Generation! Yep, there we go. So what we need to do now is we need to split here. So we're gonna tap, we're gonna tap split, then we're gonna slide down on our little uh, icon there. We're gonna do the same here at bar 39 because we just want this one bar of audio. And because GarageBand has what's called non-destructive editing, it doesn't matter if we get too little or too much. We just need to get some part of this audio. We can then expand it out if we need to. I'll show you what, you mean, what I mean in a moment. So what we need to do now is tap over here on the track and we want to duplicate this one. What that'll do, it won't duplicate the audio, but it duplicates all of the track settings from this track down to this track. And now, all we need to do is tap here, tap again, tap on copy, then bring our playhead to the point where we want to paste, go to our correct track, tap, and tap paste. So now, we have these two versions of this vocal here now. Now, if we just play this back now, as it is, all it's gonna do is give us the vocal at twice the volume, which is obviously not what we want. We need to adjust this vocal to give it that cool uh, delay effect. So to do that, we're gonna dive into our effects. So we tap on our little uh, effects uh, mixer icon up here, and we'll go into plugins and EQ. Now, what we'll need to do here is tap on edit, and let's get rid of, what can we get rid of? We need, don't need the enhanced tuning, so we'll just delete that, because what I wanna add in is a distortion effect. So we're gonna tap on the little plus button, we're gonna throw distortion, and you, you, know, you can already see that you could use this for a whole bunch of different, uh, different applications on guitars, on any sort of instrument that you want to add just a little bit of variety to just one section of a song. You can come in here, duplicate your track, and then change it up here. So we'll leave the distortion on the default for now and play with that in a moment. The other thing I probably want, so let's just delete this effect EQ bit here, and the other thing I want is an actual track echo because I specifically want a quarter note delay. So that's where it's that one, two, three, four. So it's gonna sit right on the quarter note of the song here. So we'll leave that on its default settings for now as well. Now let's solo our effect track and play it back. Generation! Yeah, that's pretty good. So I haven't really done much playing around, but the one thing I will need to do here is dial that back so that it's not as loud in the mix. So let's just play these two vocals together now. Generations and I build. Yeah, could probably just use a little bit more even, just for a little bit more power. Generations and I build battle. 
Yeah, cool. So let's bring these two back into the mix now and see if we've replicated that original sound we were going for. Must be even worse. Generation, an uphill battle that. Yeah, not bad. What we'd want to probably then do now is come in here to this track, tap it and go to settings, and just use my clip gain here to drop it down, just because we've now, like, we don't want this to stand out as much louder than the rest. So if we try this again with this gain down a little bit. Must be even worse. Generation, an uphill battle. Yeah, probably could go down a little bit more, but you get the point there. So there you go. That's a very quick and simple way to use sort of automation on effects, or at least be able to duplicate a track and then add an effect to just a part. And obviously if we wanted, so say we had a guitar here, we could just delete this original one. And then if you wanted the effect to, no effect here, and then it to cut straight over to an effect and then straight back, you'd be able to do that no problem. And what I meant by um, the non-destructive audio is that if I get the wrong part, you see here that this is all still here. So we can still pull out any of that audio that we want because it's all just sitting in behind. It's just being trimmed to go onto this new track. So there you go, a very quick and simple and effective way to get a cool delay effect or any other effect here in GarageBand. Thanks again for watching. We've got a whole heap more GarageBand quick tips and quick jams, and I've got two whole playlists full, which I'll link down below. You can also subscribe to the channel by clicking on the Studio Live Today icon, or you can head over to studiolivetoday.com for more audio goodness.